Howdy, everybody. My name is Emily Catalan. I am a graduate student here at Texas A&M University. I'm currently in the Agriculture Leadership Education and Communications Department. And today, I have the honor of presenting my RLO, or for those who don't know, it's my reusable learning objective. So today, my target audience would be, if you can tell by the bold letters, is extension agents. So our objective for today is that extension agents will be able to craft educational materials via Canva to provide resources and assistance to low-income families, immigrants, and minorities. So as extension agents, it's important to know your audience, correct? There are a lot of resources that are not accessible to non-English speakers, or it's possible that the language that is used in those resources are not appropriate for families of lower income, for immigrants, or for minorities. And this population can easily be reachable with the right tools and attitudes from you, extension agents. So I do want to introduce um, Roger's book, The Fusion of Innovation. He talks about one of the attributes of trialability. And what trialability is, it's, it is the extent in which an innovation may be experimented with for a limited time. So I want you to emphasize on the experimented. So a little bit about triability. It is positively correlated with the rate of adoption. So if you think about it, the more you experiment, the more you try a certain innovation, the quicker it gets adopted, right? Because you're trying it, you become much more familiar with it. So you're more likely to understand and grasp it much quicker than those who don't experiment it with. And the next bullet point sums that up is that the more innovation is tried, the faster it's adoption, right? So um, this is what I believe to be really, really important is why? So I want you to reflect and think about why you're doing what you're doing. Why are you here? Why are you in the program that you're in? And so that's why I believe it's important to remember that because you as extension agents, you guys are also change agents. You guys take the initiative and you guys drive the changes that happen within your organization and your community. And circling back to Rogers, he defines change agents as individuals who influence clients' innovation decisions and are directly deemed desirable by a change agency. So change agency here could be um, 4-H or IOF extension. Um, and then you, extension agents, are the change agents. You guys influence your clients here would be your um, community and your organizations. So and drive into what we'll be doing today. Back to our objective is being able to use Canva. So I have here um, our online tools. So here are a couple of examples of how of different online tools that can be used to present different uh, information. So we have Canva. We also have PowerPoint that I believe a lot of us are familiar with. There's Figma, Inkscape, um, Inkscape. Pixlr, Gravity Designer, and GEMP. These are all free to use, by the way. And feel free that if after this presentation, you're like, Canvas too much, please experiment with the other online tools that are there, the other um, resources. They're there for you. And we will also be using uh, translation tools. So going back to the objective, we want to be able to reach those audience, correct? And I mentioned sometimes it can be that language barrier. A lot of the researchers are in English and the translation, we can use Google translation, but that's not very effective. So here I have a list of some translation tools that are really, really efficient in translating um, words from English to Spanish or English to which other other language you wish to use. So today we'll be using DeepL, um, but there's also TransFX, um, Django, and one of our translations. I do wanna highlight that the first two, they are um, AI. So they are generated by just um, putting in the words that you wanna translate and it'll pop it up for you. Three and four, however, if you wanna have like that human interaction, definitely recommend three and four. This provides real life translate real life translators to um, translate the words and go over with you with the documents and the such. 
Um, so if you don't want to talk to people, definitely recommend the first two. If you need that extra help and want to speak to an actual human being, I do recommend three and four. So let's get started. So if you guys follow my screen, and I'm just going to double check that Zoom is being what you guys have seen. Perfect. So here is Canva. It seems like a lot. I know. It's very bright and colorful, so it can be very daunting at times. But it's very, again, once you experiment and try something, you become much more comfortable with it. You're like, oh, by the end of this, you'd be like, this is easy breezy. That's the hope. <laughs> so what we're going to do today, I'm not going to go too deep into Canva for um, time purposes, but I do want to just give you guys an overall view. So what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the 4-H website and I have it pulled here already. So this is an example of, uh, this is a welcome guide. You see the pages and it's all in English. And you kind of see the presentation of it. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's okay. But you as an extension agent, you can make this much better and much more accessible to um, the other audiences. So going back to home, we'll go here to projects and we will go to this blank untitled, we'll just show you how we get to that blank. You can click on templates and here it'll show you different, um, different platforms that you can um, do your information um, you can distribute information via presentation, social media, videos, and such. Um, so for this purpose, you can do infographs, um, you can do uh, documents, presentations. Um, for today, we'll be using the documents. So here's some document blank, um, templates. You can definitely, we'll go with the blank one. So this is kind of how you will get started. And again, I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but here you have your different designs, different styles, you can do different elements and all of such, upload different things. So this is like a blank page. So I'm going to show you what I, what I have already prepped for you guys. So we see this is the original welcome guide, correct? So, okay, it could be a little better. So I did this, I made it a little better. I just did the first page just for um, time purposes, but you can see that I have it in Spanish. Now, how did I do that? So I'll show you. So we're gonna go back we'll, back to what um, one of the translation tools was DeepL. So we have DeepL here. So we see here. So we're gonna go back to the original welcome guide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this title. I want to highlight this in Spanish and put it right here. See where that empty space is. So we're going to go to Deep Elm. So I control copy over there and I'm going to control and paste. So you see here, English to Spanish and it translated. And um, you do have to pay a little bit more if you'd like to have a formal informal tone, but just having the basic, this as a Spanish speaker myself, this is clear to me, this makes sense. And it's also very important too, to like go over, look, make sure everything looks good and the such. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna highlight, control copy, and then we're going to add a text box here. So we're gonna add a text box. So you see right here, you do have to zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna move this text box right over here make it a little bigger for now. And then I'm going to control paste. Oh, look at that looks. So a way we can make this smaller. So we have it all here. So what I like to do, I like to control A, it selects everything. And then I make it to the appropriate text that makes, um, that makes it a lot more readable. And then here you do have to play around a little bit and make sure that the, um, the copy paste can definitely um, contribute to the, um, how everything looks and the such, but you will just 
um, space back here, space back over here. And then this does have like the, this was translated by, so you could just cut that out. And then you'll concise this a little bit and then move it to the, to the space over here. Oop. And then again, you wanna make it a little bit smaller, but also legible. So you wanna make it wide. So now I have a lot more space. So maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. So control or highlight all. And then I just click to whatever size I believe is appropriate. And there we go. Do a little bit backspacing. Bada beam, bada boom. So I'm reading it over and just like that. Simple, right? <laughs> Well, again, it's all about experimenting. And I do also want to note that this is a little, this is time consuming. You know, I won't sugarcoat it. However, it is definitely rewarding. Going off that though, let's say I really don't have time. Like I just, you know, don't. Cool thing about DeepL is that it also translates files. So, what we can do back to this page, we can download this document. So let's download here, pops out there on the bottom right, and we can just drag it, confirm. And it's like to Spanish. Yes, please. And while it's translating, shouldn't take too, too long. But again, if you don't have the time or if it's a little bit too tedious to move from one word, from one phrase to another one, printing a whole document could be a bit time consuming. And let's see. And look at that. We have the title, we have um, I mean the paragraph, and then everything even in the boxes is translated. Isn't that awesome? So DeepL, it definitely is a very, very good tool to use, in my opinion, to translate different documents and the such. And again, if you don't like how this looks, how the original document looks, I definitely recommend Canva. Canva makes it so much more um, mesmerizing and it just looks better, it looks good. Um, we want to reach our audience. We also want to make sure that they are interested. You know, and that also goes into visuals. So a little bit about Canva, a little bit about Depot. I'll show you a little bit how to use it. So going back to our, um, back to our presentation here, um, I do want to remind everybody that developing these educational materials, such as these brochures or flyers, that they can be translated into multiple different languages. And this ensures that they're, that it reaches the diverse population so they can access it, read it and understand the information because that's super, super important. So we don't wanna just target just one audience. We wanna target all of them. And down here in a reference, I do have all the websites that are linked. You just click on it and it'll prompt you to that. I also put the example that we used today for those who um, want to look more into it. Um, I do want to bring to light of this QR code. If you guys scan this QR code, this will be an assessment. This will gauge of what you learned from this RLL. So if you scan that QR code, we ask a few questions um, relating back to what our objective was and the different tools that we used. So that is all that I have for you all. Thank you and gig them.